These are the three most common ways in which WordPress business owners are still getting hacked. The first one, believe it or not, is still through weak passwords. There are millions of bots just crawling WordPress sites, testing out different password combinations. And believe it or not, that is still one of the most common ways in which WordPress business owners are getting hacked. So how about you just go to one of these free password generating websites where you can get a string of 16 different characters that use special keys and you know a combination of weird letters so that you don't get hacked yes just write the damn password in a piece of paper somewhere or in a you know you know you use one password or last pass or whatever app you want to use but stop using your last name one two three four five six ex exclamation mark because you're gonna get hacked reason number two believe it or not is also pretty basic plugin vulnerabilities if you are one of those people who has 25 different plugins installed in their wordpress environment and 10 of them haven't been updated in the past three years you're gonna get hacked you see there is a problem with not just downloading and leaving a plugin in the back end of your wordpress site but even if you're using it and the plugin isn't being maintained by developers that means that you know that plugin is not keeping up with wordpress core security updates and just having one of those plugins in the back end of your wordpress website could potentially open up a door for again nasty crawlers bots and just malware in general um, that could potentially infect your site so just make sure that whatever plugin you're making use of and i'm not saying don't in install plugins that you are making use of and that are being maintained by you know reputable developers uh, but wh whatever plugins you're actually making use of just make sure that there's someone behind it that you trust and that is actively caring about that tool that they're building and the third most common way in which business owners are getting hacked is through phishing emails. Now, unfortunately, this isn't just the case for, you know, WordPress business owners. Phishing and, you know, scammy emails are uh, a big pain in the ass for a lot of people because some of them are pretty elaborate in how they do this. So, uh, you know, just the next time that you get an email from one of the plugins that you're using saying, hey, reset your password, just make sure, be very thorough in ensuring that the email address that the email is coming from is, you know, is, is from a legitimate domain from one of the plugins that you're using. Um, and be aware of whether they're using an L or, you know, a capital I, those things can be tricky to spot. But yeah, just, you know, be very, very, very careful about password reset emails in general.